Hi, welcome to Storytime in the Book Nook with Squirrel and I. Today we are going to read stories on bird watching. I love birds and I brought three of my favorites, didn't we Squirrel? Yes. I brought a cardinal, beautiful red cardinal, a chickadee, chickadee dee dee, and a blue jay. Blue is my favorite color so that's why I brought the blue jay. Aren't those cute? All right, squirrels, should we show them the seed too? Before we start reading, we brought our seed that we use in our bird feeders. And we like to fill them in the afternoons with black oil sunflower seed. Really a treat for them, they love it. All kinds of birds. And thistle, goldfinches, which are beautiful too. They love the, the thistle seed, that's hard to say. I brought a thistle fe feeder. This one, it opens from the top and then you pour the seed in. So maybe you could help with that project today. If it's raining and you still want something to do with that bird seed, what you can do is take glue and paper and you can make really pretty designs, some mosaics. That's always fun to do too. There's always something to do, rain or shine. All right, the four books we're gonna read today are Quiet. I included that because you do have to be quiet while you're bird watching, so you don't scare our feathered friends. All Around Me I See. I included this one because while I bird watch, I always realize all the miracles around me. Bird Count I love. Work on that counting. And it's really bright and it has hummingbirds. One of my favorites as well. And a personal favorite fun story, Owl Baby. So if you're able to stay for all of them, we're going to finish with this one. Okay, should we get started? Are you ready, squirrel? My, oh my, the grandfather said, everything is in such a hurry. The birds are flying so fast. And our dog is rushing after the ball, said the girl. I see a frog jumping high into the pond, said the boy. and a dragonfly zooming over the water. Even the trees are waving their leaves. That's been like that today and yesterday, all the wind. Busy as busy can be. Let's not be so busy. Why don't we sit here? You next to me. It looks like a pretty nice bench, I'd say. The birds are just like us. They're taking a rest, singing their song. Our dog is tired. I think he's dreaming. I like that page. The frog is sitting and blinking and the dragonfly has stopped beating its wings. Let us be quiet like all of our friends, quiet and still. I can think when I'm quiet. can see when I'm still. To be quiet and still is a very special thing. The end. Don't you like that? I think it's so pretty. All right, I'll put that on the shelf here. Bird count. We'll do this one. One, two, three. One loon ship tucked in its mother's wings. Two fishers crowned as noble kings. 
three puffins eating silverfish. Four hummingbirds sipping from a dish. Isn't that cute? It's a lot of hummingbirds. Five pelicans warming in the sun. Six geese resting when the work is done. Seven herons gathered in a swamp. Eight quail out on an evening romp. Little babies. Nine wax wings feasting from a vine. I think those are exquisite. Ten swallows chattering on a line. It's a funny page. Eleven owls stirring in their trees. And twelve terns flying out to sea. The next one is All Around Me I See. What do you see around you today? I bet some special things. Use your scientist eyes, don't forget. The rain is a drink from the earth. See, she's watching it. A puddle is a bath for a bird. A stream is a path to the ocean. The sea sings a song to be heard. You see them hiking? A river is a journey for salmon, and a rock is an island for a frog. A leaf is a boat for a beetle, and a turtle makes a bridge from a log. I have so many of those that I like to look at on the pond across our street. The grass is a bed for a deer. Can you see that? Can you find the deer right there? All snuggled up. A forest is a family for a tree. The wind is a wing for a seed, and a meadow is a feast for a bee. A hollow is a hideout for a squirrel, and a blossom is a bowl for dew. A nest is a cradle for eggs, and a branch is an owl's point of view. The sun is like the warmth from a fire, and the sky is a place to be free. That's a pretty page. Isn't that a cool book? I like that. The last one, Owl Babies. Here we go. Owl Babies. Once there were three little baby owls, Sarah and Piercy and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. See, Mom? One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's Mommy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Piercy. I want my Mommy, said Bill. think is going to happen. Let's see. The baby owls thought. Oh, owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. To get us food, said Piercy. Oh, I want my mommy, said Bill. Bill is sad. But their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house and they sat on the tree and they waited
a big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Piercy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Piercy. I want my mommy, said Bill. It was dark in the wood and they had to be brave for things moved all around. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. Oh, I suppose so, said Piercy. I want my mommy, said Bill. And they sat and they thought, because all owls think a lot. Hmm, maybe we should sit, all sit on the branch, said Sarah. And they did, all three together. And she came, soft and silent, and she swooped through the trees to Sarah, Piercy, and Bill. Mommy, they cried, and they flapped, and they danced, and they bounced up and down on their branch. <laughs> They're very happy. What's all the fuss, their mother asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought, because all owls think a lot. Well, I knew that, said Sarah. Oh, I knew that, said Piercy. I love my mommy, said Bill. The end. If you happen to be sitting here today enjoying it, and you're a little older, when you come to the Anderson Horticulture Library for regular story time someday, we have these two books that are great for older bird lovers. Um, but the pictures could be for any age. And it's one of my favorite illustrators and authors. So it's Laura Erickson and illustrator Betsy Bowen. So it's 12 Owls and Hawk Ridge. Okay. So there's something for everybody at our library. And I'm hoping to see all of you very soon. Have a wonderful week bird watching. We'll see you next week, Squirrel and I. Do you want to say bye, Squirrel? Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week.